excited for the whole team in general since we are a new program all these young women are super excited to just have their first home meet it's been a tough couple of years with COVID and they've been really excited um, I think it's gonna be a really close matchup and it's gonna be awesome to have our first NEC matchup as well um, mostly to see how our freshmen do it's really exciting having like a new batch of teammates and I am so confident in our returners because I've seen how much they improved over last year and I know they're gonna improve just as much this year but I'm just excited to see how the freshmen perform um, swimming with all of us see the energy see um, just how we stack up against another division one team in our conference and I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised at what we can do um, I'm really excited to see how we do against our first Division I team. Um, I feel as though the way we train, we've always been ready for this, um, like this challenge because we've always worked so hard and we've always put in the work to the best of all of our abilities and I'm just really, really excited to see um, how we do. You know, we did pretty well I think in our first season, our first real season in Division II, so I'm just hoping we can carry over that momentum into, you know, this bigger challenge. Personally, you know, it's really exciting. Um, I know it can be like frightening, which definitely comes with nerves, but I think it's an exciting challenge that's gonna push me individually and my team as a whole to just be the best versions of ourselves and to just give everything that we have in every race. And I think that, um, you know, starting at Division Two kind of gave us like a good base and now moving up so we're so fortunate to be able to move up and still be able to compete that I think it's just gonna make us push even harder and drive even better and we're just gonna do great. I have really, I have good hopes for this season. Uh, so far the transition to D1 hasn't been much different. Um, we're still getting after it the same way at practice. The team has been phenomenal in terms of their effort and attitude uh, and as a new coach to a relatively new program I've been really happy uh, with the way that the team acts, with the way that the captains have helped carry the team uh, during this transition phase in terms of coaching and to Division I, I think we have a great group that's ready to take on the challenge of the next four years as we finalize this transition to the NEC. Uh, I'm just really excited for us to be able to show what we can do and for some of these young women to show that they can compete at this level even though that's not where they started. Yeah, I think we were pretty unique that we only had six um, people on our team my freshman year. So, I mean, that bond was, un incredibly, was incredibly close. And then we just kind of built upon that every year. And it's just so natural for us to just fall into, I guess, like being together all the time. Everyone knows everything about each other. And I think that helps us um, kind of just be together as a team, you know, like no one's really separated. We don't really have any small groups or anything. It's just like you're on the swim team and like every single single person on your team is your best friend, they're your teammate, they're your sister really. So um, it's just been a really unique uh, opportunity that we've had and I think it's really going to strengthen the bond and Stonehill Swimming is always going to have a really close-knit team uh, to come. Thank you.
Coach Matt kind of came in with this like crazy enthusiasm that I think we really needed, especially um, as a new team and then just finding out that we lost our coach. It was really what we needed to bring us back all together, get the energy up. You know, every day at practice is something new, something to look forward to. And it's always exciting, like seeing him on the side of the deck, um, cheering us on. And um, he brings a really good energy. Um, and I think he has really fresh ideas and he knows what it's like to be a college swimmer because he swam in college. And I think that's a really important insight that some coaches might not have. And he, he knows what it's like to do what we do to be an athlete and to be a student. And he knows it's hard. And he knows how to support all of us individually and as a team. And he knows a lot of technique and he knows a lot of strategy that we haven't been exposed to that I think is really gonna help a lot of us improve. Coach Matt has just brought some new and exciting energy that I think has been really, really good for our team. Um, you know, it's been a struggle for some of us with training before, and it's going to continue to be a struggle. I mean, the sport we do is just, it's just intense. But um, he brings like a different perspective than I think what some of us are used to. You know, new drills, new sets, um, new outlooks, new technique practice, like just something different to switch it up that I don't think a lot of us are used to and I think it's going to be really good for us. Um, you know he's very supportive, he's super positive and he always just knows how to make us laugh and he always makes us feel like no matter what we do in practice if we're giving our all we're good enough and we're doing the best that we can and it's just like such a supportive feeling that to have someone like back you and make you feel like you're you're good. Uh, right now we are a much bigger team, uh, but I think the captains have done a really good job of carrying on a tradition of being more than just about your own success. Um, they've done a great job of instilling that in the bigger freshman class, which is as big as the team was just two years ago. Um, so it's really exciting for us to have almost a full roster after starting so small. Uh, and again, the captains have just done a really good job of getting them to be more concerned with the team aspect overall and with the family aspect of being on a college swim team. Being able to compete uh, at the NEC Championships this year is going to be huge for our team. Uh, as a very young team um, and as a new Division I team, I think the biggest thing that's going to be great about this experience is to be able to see the other comp the other competitors. Um, you know, I think there's this air of like, oh wow, it's D1, but these athletes put their pants on the same way that we do every day, um, and I think we just need to see that we might need a little bit more time to get there, but we can easily get there to be competitive at this conference. You know, I believe these young women are far more talented than they might believe, and that with a couple of years of work, we can be competitive at the NEC level and at the Division I level.